This is the Saramonic SRWM4C wireless microphone system. Now the idea with this is it's a more affordable alternative to some of the bigger brands out there, but with the quality that you need. So we're gonna open it up, check it out, and later on give it some tests. Now obviously, I never really go that far from the camera. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I don't appear that often at distance from the camera. But I like the idea of a wireless system, just cleaner, just easier. A few stats on the side that some of you might be interested in, so give that a pause and take a look at that. As always, little destruction booklet. We have two units here. So we've got a transmitter and a receiver. Now. We'll go through it in depth, but they're basically exactly the same size, just obviously the ports are different. And the main difference is receiver and transmitter, fairly obvious. There's the actual mic itself with the plug, not your standard plug, two rather long antennae, but very, very flexible. So. If you're worried about the length, look at how flexible these things are. The clip for the lav mic holds shoe mount, so you can stick that on top of your camera. An adapter cable, and of course the pop shield. Looking at the receiver, first of all, what I would say, and it's the same with both units, it's plastic. It feels solid, but it doesn't have the same premium feel as the larger brand names, but it's solid enough to use, so I'm not worried about that. On the top, the volume, it's a dial. I think I'd prefer switches, but there you go. It's a dial, so it is what it is. Headphone socket. You could monitor the output and check the volume against it, but it's best to monitor on the camera, the recording device itself. Attach the antenna. So there's that attached. A nice wobbly antenna. It's a good attachment, feels good. So you can slide that in, clip it in, slide it on top of your camera and to take it off, push in, pull away. On the button, tray for your double A's, which is good because you can get double A's anywhere. Just test them before you shoot anything important. On this side of the receiver, your frequencies, which we're gonna have on A and your on off and your audio out there, you'd have that out there and that into your 3.5 jack mic input on your camera or your recording device. The transmitter, on the side we've got four frequency groups. I'm gonna put that on A because that's where I'm gonna want it. You've got a power on and off, which is nice and solid. It seems to have two settings, so maybe there's a standby really in the middle and then the off. Same, the frequency slider is nice and solid. The bottom, again, of course, the same tray for your double A's. On the back, belt clip, nice and solid. On the top, you've got your mic plug. It's a three pin affair. To release, you can press this black button, but it's nice and solid, I notice. This is the first time I've ever looked at this, and I'm happy with how solid that is. You've got a power indicator on the top, as with the other, the aerial. Pop shield there, so there's your clip once it's mounted. Nice and sturdy that is. So that effectively would be your transmitter set up, obviously with the battery in place. As you can see it's quite a tall object. There's my Apple TV remote. And you can tell by the size of my hand is roughly how big that is. There's another belt clip. So if you want your receiver attached to a belt, or I guess if you lose this one or if it breaks, You've got a spare, so that's handy. Let's see what range this is claiming. Record audio up to 60 meters away with no obstacle. There are many videos online about that. What I wanna check this out with is my GoPro to see how that sounds, see what sort of distance I can get within reason because I'm not that interested in going 60 meters. Some of you might be. There are a few videos online where people have gone into a field and they've measured it out. So let's go and give this a test and see what the results are like.